This was just a short flight to get a new vacuum pump on the Tomahawk, but I still found it worth filming. Alright, before engine to start, cabin door is closed and latched. Go ahead and get this one closed. Open up the window. Overhead latch engaged, seats adjusted and locked. Seat belts fastened, circuit breakers check in. Good. Get the master on. Anti-collision lights come on to signify that we are getting ready to fire up. Got the right key in the ignition. Parking brake set. Go ahead and set the parking brake. Carb heat is off. Fuel selector is on the desired tank. Let's go ahead and switch it over to the right tank. Prime as required. That's one shot. Two shots. Three shots. Turn and lock. Fuel pump. We got pressure. Alright. Clear prop. Clear. Fire right up. And I'm actually gonna open this door. It's hot as hell. Oh, that's much better. Okay, radio's coming on. Now we'll call ground. San Marcos ground, Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha with hotel. Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, San Marcos ground. November 257 Kilo Alpha, we're a type Piper Tomahawk at the T-Hangers. Information hotel like to be VFR northbound. Tomahawk 7 Kilo Alpha. San Marcos Ground, Roger, runway uh, 13, or runway 17, taxi via Alpha Bravo, cross runway 8, Charlie, the Juliet, then you can hold short of runway 13, hold Juliet. Okay, Alpha Bravo, Charlie, and Juliet, cross runway 8, hold short of 13 on Juliet, 257 Kilo Alpha. Yes sir, winds 140 at 9 or if you want to, um, I guess it's right now at this second, it's favoring runway 13. 7 Kilo Alpha, Roger. We'll probably just take runway 1-3. Yeah. You got T hangers, I don't see you yet. Are you in between them? Yeah, we're just about to pop out. There we are. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you are. The visibility in this airplane is incredible, though. With this kind of bubble canopy, I can look all the way around me and see completely 360 degrees around the airplane. Pretty great. Seats and seat belts set, belts and shoulder harnesses are on, empty seat. Belts fastened and it's locked in place. Flaps set, we'll cycle them and we want them all the way up. Elevator trim, set for takeoff, controls free, that one goes up, that one goes down, that one goes up, that one goes down. Elevators up and down, rudder left and right. Okay, doors closed and latched, overhead latch engaged. Both of them are latched. Okay. We'll do our run up. Holding the brakes. Bring it up to 1800 RPM. Check the mags. There's the left. It's about a 100 RPM drop. Back to both. Check the right. About a 100 RPM drop. Back to both. Carb heat. Good. Green, green, green. Plenty of fuel. And bring her back. Go ahead and get tower put in here. One, two, six. Eight, two. Release the brake. Give it a shot of power here, and we're going to turn to the right. This thing's turning radius is like 10 feet. Maybe even shorter, five feet. Alright. We're done with the POH. 
I'm gonna make photocopies of that, the pages with the checklist on it. Air vents are open, we'll call for takeoff clearance. San Marcos Tower, Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, holding short of 13, ready for VFR departure. Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, San Marcos Tower, runway 13, clear for takeoff, proceed on course. 13, clear for takeoff, proceed on course, 257 Kilo Alpha. Okay. Transponded altitude, car peed cold, it, mixture is rich, flaps are up, fuel selector is on. Fullest, drivers have takeoff. Lights on. We're clear, clear. Then proceed on course. There's no stripes on this runway. Compass checks out. Power come to full. here. We'll get 500 feet off and we'll make our left turn. There's 500 feet, we're clear left. This is the first bit of sun that we've had in a while here in Texas. It's just been raining, raining, raining for the last couple weeks. Alright, we got places to land, and we're over a thousand feet off the ground. Boost pump coming off, fuel pressure maintained. What's your on-course heading? On-course is going to be about 350 for 7 kilo alpha. Tomahawk 7 kilo alpha, roger. I've got a Mooney that's inbound on the uh, GPS to runway 17. So uh, that'll be a factor for you. He's currently about still 10 miles uh, north of you now inbound at out of 2000, question 3000. Um, just keep an eye out for him. You may want to adjust a little bit to the right. Would it work if we just went due west for about five miles? Oh yeah, that'd, that'd work as well. Okay, we'll go due west and then we'll cut it north at about five miles. Nice and hot, nice and bumpy today. Pull the power back a little bit since we're getting a little bumpy. Seven kilo alpha, that should be fine. And uh, thanks for that. And frequency change your discretion. Talk to you next time. Okay, seven kilo alpha frequency change approved. We'll talk to you later. Seven kilo alpha. All right, we'll do nineteen zero. Austin Approach, Piper Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha. Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, Austin Approach. Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, we're approximately five miles to the northwest of the San Marcos Airport, 2800 en route to Lago Vista, like to be on flight following. Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, Squawk 0202 and IDEN. 0202 and IDEN for 257 Kilo Alpha. Six sixty eight leveling ten thousand. There's a tall tower. Six sixty eight off front for a treasure. 
There's a tall tower about 2,000 feet tall over there. We're at 2,900, so about 1,000 feet above it, but we want to steer clear of it. There's no point to fly directly over it. Approach out to 668, can we get uh, up to 13,000? Approach 668, uh, on request. Thank you. Approach 7Q Alpha, traffic 1 o'clock, 8 miles southbound to Mooney on the approach for 177 markers. Okay, we're looking for the traffic, negative contact, 7 Kilo Alpha. 7 Kilo Alpha, do you want radar contact, 10 miles north of San Marcos Airport, Delta is 3005, verify your altitude. 3005, indicating 2900, sorry, 3000 for 7 Kilo Alpha. And approach Tomahawk, Tomahawk 7 Kilo Alpha, we got that traffic passing off our right. Tomahawk 7 Kilo Alpha. Got that booty passing off out there. No factor. Tomahawk 7 Kilo Alpha, are you city going to Lakeway or Rusty Allen? Go to Rusty Allen for 7 Kilo Alpha. Thank you, Alpha. Bago Vista Rusty Allen. So my buddy bought this airplane up in Oregon, and we recently ferried this airplane from Oregon down here to Texas. And... 2775, traffic off your left with an Embraer 5000 over, flying off higher for you in about two miles. Since he's an instructor, and I'm an instructor, and one of our other friends is an instructor, we're basically going to start a flight school, and we're going to start training people. And this is going to be the first airplane that we're going to start using to train people in. It's a pretty cool little deal and we're really excited to get it kicked off, so we're just getting a couple little things done on the airplane to make it ready for training. Top of 2755, climbing to 1, 2000, 12,000. 12,000, South 2755. Meanwhile, the Skyhawk 80991 is in the shop right now. It's getting worked on, getting some uh, work done on the fuel tanks. I uh, had to send one of the fuel tanks off because it needed an overhaul. It was it had some corrosion on the inside of it and stuff like that. 2775, clear direct LOL. Direct LOL, South 2775. I never thought that I would be too much of a fan of flying a Tomahawk, but now that I have... Shell craft, option for extra next range, current delta order 3005. But now that I have like over 20 hours in this, this very airplane, the Tomahawk has really grown on me. It's a really fun airplane to fly. It's super comfortable. I love the center console that it has in here. It's really wide on the inside. Like I said before, it does have some goofy stall characteristics. To, uh, six, six, three, but for 4, if nothing else, it'll really teach your students to stay coordinated. Contact, turn right, direct painting. No, but it's a... 2755, contact Houston Center, 134.2. It's a good line airplane. Transitioning to a Piper Tomahawk from a Cessna 172 is kind of weird. It's it's a different airplane. It's certainly very different. You know, the, you got the low wing, you got a quad here instead of a knob, you got a lever for the flaps. 229, I got uh, two company aircraft north of the airport that are in holding due to uh, previous wind shear alerts over the airport. Uh, I don't have any further information as far as the wind shear alerts go, but um, there is some light to moderate heavy print ship about uh, four to five mile final. Roger, we're looking at that on the radar, southwest uh, 329. Uh, 329, Roger, and uh, okay, advise to get closer if you're going to want to plan to attempt uh, one foot and right or uh, enter holding with uh, company aircraft. We'll advise southwest 329. Austin approach, Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha has logo in sight. 257 Kilo Alpha, Roger, radar sure is terminated. Uh, Squawk VFR, change advisory frequencies approved. I have no observed traffic for you this time. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved, 257 Kilo Alpha, thank you. Okay, going to AWOS 119, 37. Get the weather real quick. 103,500, scattered 4,200, scattered All temperature right. 3, 1 Celsius, 2.22, altimeter 3008, you mark 3008, altitude 3200. Lago Vista, Rusty Allen, airport. 
Automated weather observation. Two, zero, zero, one, Zulu. The weather. Wind. One, four, zero, at eight gusts. One, four, visibility. One, zero. All right. Marga Vista traffic, Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, 4 to the southeast. We're going to enter 45 left downwind runway 15. Full stop, Marga Vista. Something you always want to have in mind is. If I lost the engine right now, where am I going to put it? Where am I going to set this thing down? And out here, there's really not that many options. You don't want to fly low out here. You want to do your best to avoid other people if possible. Looks like there's some green over there that I could probably put it down on, but that'd be a stretch. Alright, start to pull power out. Entering left down then. Lago Vista traffic, Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, left down wind 15, full stop, Lago Vista. thing about the, the quadrant throttles like this is if you're resting your hand on it like this and you hit a bump, <laughs> it can yank the throttle down to idle. That's happened to me a couple times already in this thing. Alright, left downwind. Boost pump, cowl, carb, heat stays off gas on the fullest tank. Undercarriage is down, mixture coming in a little bit, prop power straps and flaps when we're in the wide arc we'll add our first notch of flaps when we reduce power come down to pattern altitude runway looks good good condition i don't see any other traffic in the pattern right now and haven't heard anybody but just because you haven't heard anybody doesn't mean you should keep your eyes peeled all right we're being the numbers coming back to 1500 rpm in the wide arc first notch of flaps pull the lever back to the first notch let the nose start coming down Lago Vista traffic, Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, turning left base, runway 15, full stop, Lago Vista. At any airport, you always got to be ready to go around, especially this airport. It's going to get pretty bouncy down there on the short final. Lago Vista traffic, Tomahawk 257 Kilo Alpha, final, runway 15, full stop, Lago Vista. We are on glide path, a little fast. Since we're a little fast, we'll pull the nose up. Deplete that airspeed. We turned a little early there. My bad. A little high, a little power out. Speed's looking okay. We're coming down to full flaps. Seventy knots, looking good. A little jab of power. Those up trim. All right, we're coming to idle. Hold it off, hold it off. Let the airplane come down to the runway. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let it roll out. There's the nose gear. We'll start to tap the brakes and go ahead and vacate the runway. Although it was a short flight, I always love taking the opportunity to take a flight any day, even if it's over 100 degrees outside. This is yet another make and model that goes in my logbook, and I must say that the Piper Tomahawk is certainly growing on me. I love learning new things every day, and I think nothing will teach me more than being a teacher of aviation. Working with students on a regular basis will help me grow in many different ways in aviation. 
I'm glad that we've got the airplane to kick it all off with. <laughs>